Alright, good combo starting off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And this is kind of just exactly like, what we were talking about. Oh Sonic's yeah. just kind of running around and... You get on top of Lucas, it's very difficult for him to deal with. Yeah. Okay, there we go. But... Spyruby's combos with this character and his mix-ups are insane. And I can't wait to see him do some of this. Yeah, I, I definitely like watching his Lucas. It's solid. That jab 3 did 1%. Help this man. <laughs> <laughs> no, Lucas, why? Ooh. Okay. Normak doing really good at just keeping the pressure up right now. It's very hard. Yeah, he's, he's keeping the pressure, but he's doing it in a very safe way. Okay, there we go. Yep. A little bit of an overextension there from Nori, and that's just going to lead to big damage from Lucas. That's some bread and butter Spyrobi stuff right there. We got the Nair into the down tilt grab. I love it. Yep. And they got that back air spike afterwards. All right. Ooh, the, uh, I don't know about the fair. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, no yeah. tech. Good read on the regular get up, and that's gonna be first stock for Normac. Yep, there we go. Get that down. Oh, okay. Down air. Yeah, good DI. Did this. not go off stage. Yeah, should have went for the up air. Yeah, or like Nair even. I think. I think it works then. I'd imagine so if he's DIing. In. Yeah, because he, he he didn't look like he was DIing away. Oh, Ooh, a bit too high there. Yeah. <laughs> did he just? Yeah, he did. Oh, doesn't get the last hit. Yeah, he didn't get the last hit. Oh, good Ooh. jabs. Wow. That would have been a stock. Yeah. Because he went for that grab. Oh, Ooh. there we go. Let's go. Catching the missed tech. Spyrobi taking that stock afterwards. Looking like he's figuring it out here. Yeah. Because that he got off to a rough start there at the beginning. But oh, yeah. But it I seems mean, like he started to. Even. He figured out like the flow that he needs to go for in this okay. matchup. Nair. Oh, really good SDI. Yeah. Yeah, SDI Ooh, makes fencers. this character a lot harder to combo with. Yeah. But he's finding his spots in neutral now, just carrying him around with fares. Yep. Ooh. Ooh, good charge on that. Yeah, he actually, I think he did that to cover spot dodge, which is smart, because he's, he's gone for grab at the ledge all the other times. Oh, yeah. Perfect okay. shields. Yep, okay, he's just going to be chilling out here. Ooh. Ooh, no. Thought he was going to land on him. Yeah, that was, like, it's homing easy. attack right there can be a weird. Okay, good good force smash. Yep. Good wait out. Ooh, good. Both these players are just really playing, like, oh, yeah, a no, very smart game. If they're getting hit, they, they have to earn every single hit they're getting here. Yeah. Right this is just some really solid neutral and like decision making from both sides. Alright. Ooh, Ooh yep, yep. ran into it, unfortunately. Ooh. Yeah, no, that's not gonna get him. Okay. Oh, oh a little just early a bit, on yep. It. And yeah, he's baiting yeah, out that. Back air. Not gonna take it though. He's facing the wrong way, so. Yeah. Really good awareness by Normac, understanding that he had to up be there. Yeah. Because even if he like side beat to turn around, it would have been so slow that he wouldn't have been able to uh, tether. His timing on calling out those Ooh, zeros is really it. good. Yeah, that's going to take that stock. His timing on that Zer was perfect. Waiting as soon as he threw out Zer, he spin yep. dashed underneath it to hit him. And yeah, that's like, based on the, I, I haven't seen much of No Remac, but like, that's kind of his like strong suit is just that like, finding that little opening where someone's in lag to just go in and like get a big punish. He's very patient, which is like, Especially for such a new player, I, th I find that interesting because that's kind of not really what you see from most oh, yeah. new players. So it's good to see that he's able to keep that up. Does he have? Does he play with anybody that uh, plays Lucas? Because it looks like he's got a really good understanding of the matchup. It too. does. I don't actually know. Like, I know, like I said, I know he plays Wi-Fi a lot. Okay. So it's possible that he has like Wi-Fi buddies that are like a bunch of different characters. And yeah, we see the Sheik switch. Yeah, I like it. I don't blame him. It's, it, it looked rough it, trying it, to get like anything started. Yeah, no, you put you put some pressure on Lucas, it's really hard for him to get out of it. And yeah. Sonic has an amazing amount of pressure with being the fastest character in the game here. Yeah. But now he's got Sheik, he's got that frame data, he's got some speed of his own. Let's see how this game two goes. I want. I wonder what the rationale behind the Battlefield pick was. Um, I couldn't tell you. Because I don't feel like I normally see Sheik like, counter pick to Triplats. I'm not too familiar with the Sheik counter picks, uh, especially I, in. Like I know she normally likes flat stages, so like. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh well, yeah, trying he, to call it an air dodge. But I mean, I guess he just didn't feel like Smashville was what he needed right now. Maybe change yeah. the pace after that first game. I understand that. That's oh. I mean, as we're seeing, his Sheik is playing uh, really well so far. Oh, he keeps going for that air dodge, dude. I feel so like you should just go for the damage a little bit at first and make him respect that and then oh, go yeah. for the... Because even the tipper wouldn't have killed there with no rage. It, well, if he got the charge, because he was charging it up, it would have killed him. That's true. I guess if he air dodged into it... Yeah, that's what that's what he's been going for. It's just that... Oh, we tried to go for the swing ride. Okay. Yep, you just get the pressure up with the stairs. Good Ooh, nice. grab. Okay, not going to kill yet, though. No. 
getting that damage though, and that's important. Cause like it's hard for Sonic to get just like a really big hit off of like a neutral exchange, mm -hmm. especially against a character with that. Ooh! Ooh, and there's the diamond cutter. Stock one. He's been looking for, he's been looking for that all game. He finally I think he finally kind of figured out when Norimac was liking to air dodge. Oh yeah, no. So he he's got that down now, so we'll have to see how Norimac's able to uh um, adapt to that knowledge that Spyrobi now has. Oh yeah, no. Spyrobi is out for blood right he, now. He's going in right now. This is this like, is some. Oh, yep. oh, yep. Yep. Oh, not quite the percent for that. I think if he dealt, he, uh, he didn't jump before the, it. Yeah, that's true. That he time he did, like and he got it. Low. Okay. Yeah, but no, he has lapped him at this point. He is just playing all around this. Yeah, game. this is this is some textbook chic right now. This is just like ooh, oppression and. Oh. oh! Calls him out. He is going off right now. This is really impressive play. And I think that's like one of the things I've always found pretty interesting about Spyrobi. It's just like how well he's able to play both of the characters that he plays. Because oh they're such God, a different yeah. style. Like you, you normally see people whenever they play two characters that they're like they're like at least kind of similar. Or they like play them in a similar way. But his mm -hmm. Lucas is like so much different than his Sheik. Because I remember whenever I played him actually, he uh, he went Lucas versus me at the beginning. And then he switched to Sheik, mm -hmm. and it like threw me off because he just went so aggro with Sheik. Yeah, I wasn't no, I expecting remember it. watching that set because his his Lucas was so patient. Yeah. So I was like, okay, I'm assuming he's just gonna be like a patient, like needly Sheik. But no, he was just going in. I was like, ooh. And his Sheik has gotten all like like that was still when his Sheik ooh. was ooh battlefield and that Dang, yeah. And that is where like a stage like this can come in handy. He called him out on the jump from ledge, but like before he even inputted it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Ooh, good yeah. recovery. Good patience, knowing he was going to go for an aggressive option out of the wall jump. Yeah. Because he was gonna, Ooh, not getting not going to have But he looks like he's just about one hit here. I mean, yeah, this is this is going to be incredibly difficult for Norimac if he wants to win this game. He would have to play, like, perfectly. That was really good patience on Ooh. the grenade. No. Yeah, and he's, he's in an awkward percent, especially because, like, Sonic doesn't get great combos with Rage. Mm -hmm. Yep, that'll oh, do that's it. Gonna be it. And that's going to be a two-stock for Spyrobi taking game two, moving and into game three. What a turnaround. I mean, yeah, like he, he was just struggling so much with Lucas, so that was a really good like character change. Mm -hmm. And That's what I was saying. I, I figured this was going to be the way to go for it. Like, yeah. The pressure that Sonic could put on Lucas is insane. Yeah, and it's entirely possible that he didn't even know who no Remac played, so he just defaulted yeah. to his character that he's a bit more comfortable with, generally yeah. speaking. So, and this is also still just winner semis of the pool, so the yes. winner of this goes into another set. Yep. And this is, this is already for a winner semi set in pools, this is very good. This is some really top, high level play here. Not top level. Yeah, no, but it, it's some good stuff for sure. All right. Nice. He, he, Nori's been going for that a lot, just that like go past shield and kind of stop. Yeah. And Spyrobi's starting to catch on to that because it caught him off guard at first. And man, I'm just, I'm really liking what I'm seeing from his Sheik. Yeah. This is the switch that he needed. To it definitely. He up. he made the right choice. One thing I'm not seeing him do though is uh, he's not using Ooh. his. Oh, come on, man! Can't give me a heart attack like that. <laughs> is uh, he he's not doing uh, like short hop fair to cover like a regular get up and normally he'll like fade back to react to whatever else they do whether it be jump or uh, back air. So his uh -huh. ledge trapping isn't as strong as I normally see it. Actually. Okay. I don't know if it's just a matchup thing necessarily. It could, it could just be like lack of familiarity with Sonic's leg, ledge options, That's you know? True. Yeah. Because sometimes, especially like against a weird character like this, where you're just not really sure what you need to be doing, you're just kind of oh oh my god, yeah, he hit him up with needles three times in a row and then dropping shield, then immediately went in yep. for the grab. Wow. That was some like textbook conditioning Ooh. right there. Oh yeah. Okay. Good jump. Yeah. Jumps out of it. But uh, he's got quite a bit of ways to go on this one. Oh, missing foot there. Get punished for the grenade. Yeah, All right, up, good up, go up tilt to cover that. Perfect, and he has lapped him at the stock. Yep. This Again, is looking like last game. Normac got him, pulled something grab. out here. Yep. Ooh, lands on the yep. ledge, but had just enough spacing to the right to get out of there. Oh. All right, this Mix could up. actually be it. Oh, he wants it. Oh, uh, he, no got, caught, he got caught on yep. the platform. He wanted to just drop down with that back air. Yep. Oh, oh, he runs into it, but he's living. Wow, that was a really good F smash. 
This man may be he, behind, he, but he's still making some crazy yeah, he made call that read, outs. He made that read like a year before. He was like, you're going to be here. I'm going to F smash you. And Spy Ruby's just like, all right. That's fair. Oh Ooh. my god, he's so much pressure. It's that sheet pressure where she's just standing there. And he's like, uh, she can push a button right now. Oh, uh, he's living yeah, that, though. Yeah, he didn't get the cross up on oh. it. Got that frame trap with the very late bouncing fish. Oh my god. Oh, uh, no, he's living. No, he, oh, he re down smash true. Uh oh. Oh no, that's not the. Uh, uh, that's not a. Uh, no, no, go. All right, there we're we back go. In there. there we go. It's okay. Oh, get up attack. That was very good. Damage. Okay, yeah, damage. This is that max rage damage coming in here. Max oh. rage coming in. 44 off of that. Oh, the, the platforms slipped away. <laughs> I think he was wanting that up smash, but the platform just barely moved away. All right, yep. Platform moving out. He's got to make sure he gets back here. Good roll. Oh, there. He hasn't the really gone for that yet. Yeah, it's good to yep, see that yep. his mind stuff's oh! still uh, good enough that he can uh, know to switch up his options. Oh, okay. Doesn't want to scale oh, that, that such up a good air dodge. in case he gets that early rage kill here. Oh, those air dodges are so clutch. Yep, he's making all his right choices <gasps> right now. He's keeping a cool head. Oh, no. Oh, oh nope. Out of the percent for that. This pressure. Yep. Hold the uh, shield. Fair not gonna kill though. Oh, uh, that bear not gonna kill. Oh, no, that one's gonna it. kill. That nerd is gonna take it. And Spyrobi takes it 2-1. Wow. Normac, great stuff almost taking that all the way back from being down over a stock. What a set. Wow. Man. Really good set against one of our PR players. Good and stuff to Normac. I'm I'm really impressed with like how like you said just how how he was able to maintain his composure. Yeah, he was. He was like I said, he like I don't think he's even been coming out to tournaments, but for like a month or two. Oh yeah, I didn't sense any fear. No, no he matter just, how far down he was, he kept his game plan going the whole time, which is so rare. It's like you normally just do not see that.